Hello folks, so in this video we will see the integration of GitLab with Jenkins, okay? So basically this is a GitLab Jenkins webhook video. Whatever we push and whatever we do on GitLab, whatever updation is there on GitLab will be shown on GitLab, will be uh, done on Git, uh, Jenkins too, okay? So that is basically the work of this demo, what, what we will be doing in this video and the next thing is what I should expect, what I am expecting. So I am expecting that here in this video, while I'm making this video, while I'll be showing you a demo, you should have a GitLab account and you have installed Jenkins on your system. And also you have a project on GitLab. Okay. You should have made a project on GitLab. You should have pushed a project. You have made a repo on GitLab and that is how we will be doing. We'll be integrating our GitLab with Jenkins. Okay. So let us see the demo first. For the demo, what you have to do, you have to open both the accounts like this Jenkins account and this GitLab account. You should have your GitLab account too. Okay. So first of all, what I'll be doing, I'll be signing into Jenkins and that I have signed in and while signing in it will show me some demo dashboard whatever it is okay this is my dashboard and here in this dashboard i have some jobs open i'll be showing how i worked on a certain job this is sample one and let me open this this is already done and how you can do you can when when starting while starting while you'll be starting you have to open this new item and this freestyle project and uh, then you will be writing a name like sample whatever it is like sample 2 or sample 1 you can write here and then here is your GitLab account and then this GitLab account you should have your project posted and then let me let me show you an example here is simple maven example and uh, what I'll be doing I'll just be opening this project i'll forking this project okay so here is clone okay and before all this i'll be managing one token and for that what you have to do you just have to open this gitlab part okay here is your preferences go to your preferences and then here is your access tokens. So if you have one access token, that is okay. If you don't have create one, you can create it from add new token, which is here, add new token, okay. And then click on that. Let me click here, okay. You can create a token here is, you can enter your token name and token name should be like the application which is using the token or whatever the purpose of your token is, you can write a meaningful token name here. Next is, you have to set your expiration date then you have to click or grant some permission like api would be okay if you are integrating with jenkins and then you have to remember one thing when whenever your personal access token would be created so you have to copy that token and store it in your notepad like i have done this here here is my access token and i have copied it and pasted it here in my notepad and you should uh, save it for future use okay so this is what your personal access token is then you should have your uh, project here so here is my project what i'll be doing it was basically a project by marcel emerald and i'm just copying it i'll just take clone with https okay i have copied its url and then From here, you have to open this dashboard and then what I said, enter an item name. So, okay, I'll be entering an item name, whatever item name I want, like this A M P L E 2 sample 2 and this is my freestyle project and okay. By clicking okay, my uh, task, my job will be created here. You can write like it is a sample project. If you want, it is optional. If you want, you can give it. Okay, then it is a GitHub project. Then yes, it is a great GitHub project. You can uh, copy your GitHub project link if you want from here. Then GitLab connection. Okay, 
then what you have to do you have to source code management yep it is git and then you have to paste your repo url and this was my repo url i have pasted it okay and it is okay it is not showing any errors here and it is master and what what i'll do i'll just click here this one it is asking me for authentication token then i'll just copy this one and paste it here okay and yep i can just save it and it is saved here what i have to do now i just have to build it now it is a sample project here it is i have to build it now okay so build now it is scheduled and it is working it is working it is working and yep it has successfully done okay if i check here is my repo link here is it is uh, i can also check the output for it and yep it is success okay move docs into project this this message is committed here let me show you one more thing that this was my sample one and i had already created something i had already worked on it and uh, this is my workspace okay and in this workspace here is my file i and if i open this readme.md and yep this is downloaded here i can also download the file whatever file and basically this is not inserted in my jenkins it is in my gitlab but as it is integrated so i can access my workspaces from here only jenkins only and yeah whatever i update in this readme.md file suppose i am just updating something uh, let me update this one i'll be editing this one not with this i'll be editing it with okay just wait i'll be editing it with my id web id okay so it is being opened now Okay, this readme file is opened here whatever you want to write you can write here like suppose i am writing hey hello so this will also be post here you can push commit everything to your master suppose i have committed it so continue i want to do the same thing i don't want to add any another branch now and yep i'll be going to my project now this is my project and i have done some changes in my readme file and you will see that in the last part there is something that i have added and here this is my workspace and whenever i'll be build it just build it schedule now and yep my readme.md would be updated now okay this is your git directory you can access your git directory from here if you want to see if you want to check anything you can access it from here so this was how we can integrate this is look this is what your uh, file readme.md file is looking and yep i had just updated that with hey hello as i show you so this is hey hello this is what hey hello is looking like you can see that in your jenkins too so we have successfully integrated and whatever file we want we can do it from here only and this is what our message is being shown here in our jenkins so i hope this video was uh, okay to you you can now create your access tokens and then you can integrate your gitlab with your jenkins now very easily it is it is a very easy thing to uh, integrate basically and uh, that was it let's meet in our next video and uh, let's explore much things till then like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you